Hi, my name is Simone Jardim and uh, we are here in Valencia Bonita today, Bonita Springs, Florida, uh, to give you some tips on the new and improved Pickleball Tutor, uh, the Plus. And uh, I hope you have fun uh, watching these tips and hopefully learning how to use some of these drills at home. All right, so now we just worked on our ground strokes now instead of us working on our ground strokes, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to have the ball machine feed us the ground stroke. Uh, and again, the Pickleball Tutor Plus has the top spin uh, option and you can put as much top spin as you want. Right now we are turned all the way up to the max. So this ball has a ton of top spin, meaning that the ball is going to cross the net and it's going to die off a little bit. So it's got also qu quite a bit of speed, so it's got power top spin all of it coming your way so meaning that that person over there the ball machine would be uh, your opponent hitting a third shot drive now a lot of the times people practice uh, hitting a drop shot uh, with the kind of ball that is coming your way it's actually quite difficult to do a drop shot off of that good ball so what I actually would like to see uh, us work on is getting the ball to the feet so, so when somebody hits a third shot drive, their body momentum is coming forward. So when I'm, when I'm coming in, um, when I choose to hit a third shot drive, is when the ball, the return, is hit shorter. So I'm going to get into the court, I'm going to come in, I'm already going to be here. So I'm going to be coming forward. My momentum now is going to be coming forward as well. Once I hit the ball, I'm probably going to be about here on the court. So that's where I have placed the targets there because I want you guys to be looking at hitting the ball at my feet. You're not trying to hit harder than I am. You're not trying to swing bigger. You're just trying to do kind of a block push. That's what I call it's a block push where we're blocking the ball but pushing it to the feet. So that way they don't take the next one out of the air with just as much power and take your head off. So you want to make sure that you kind of catch them in transition, catch them at the feet, okay? So now, as you can see, the ball machine, again, I have Brad and Josh, one on each side. You can work on the forehand or the backhand, making sure the hips stay forward and the paddle is nice and short. And again, it's a block with the push, okay? So here we go. Ready? And here we go. And as you can see, it's coming with a lot of power. Good. That's great. Very good. Yep, be aware. Good. Staying light on the feet. Try to, to really focus on. Good. Keeping that. Yeah, the firmer the, the wrist bread, the better. Yeah, same thing. Firm wrist. Firm wrist, paddle out in front. Paddle out in front more. Pa yes, meet that ball out in front. Go get it. Go. That's it, Brad. That way you also get a better angle. Get that ball to come down. Because again, if you put, that's a great shot. If the ball pops up, they're going to come forward and they're going to get that ball out of the air and come back again. Good. Better. There you go. Lean in. Woo! Are you okay? Nope. Good thing that he's got a glasses. Good. That's it. That's a better ball. Good. See, but that one, Josh, you're allowing that ball. Yeah. Get it. That's it. Meet it out in front, elbow out in front. Good. Very good. Good. Better. And the lower, the, like that's a, yeah, block push. Block push. Good. That, that's the one that you get killed. That's a better ball. There you go. Now, Josh here, what you were doing, another good way, and again, some people like to, to take it as a workout. So another way that you can work on the back and in the forehand, and again, um, you want to make sure that you're moving your legs out of the way, your body out of the way, but you're not turning your body. So I'm with, with the oscillation, if I take the oscillation away, okay, and uh, again, make sure that I'm, I've got this right. So it's going to come to me and I'll, I'll have you press it for me. So you're just going to press the, the button. I took the oscillation off already. So let's see, it should work. Go ahead. 
There you go. Oh. So what happens is that sometimes when we see the ball coming at us, especially at a faster speed, we tend to turn our body and then our contact point is behind us. That's why if you're doing this by yourself and you want to practice getting the ball out in front, it's more of a shuffle contact point here. Shuffle contact point out in front. So shuffle to the side, shuffle to the side, shuffle, shuffle. That's it, back in, forehand, no, back, no big swings. There you go, there you go. Yeah, so I want that to be a forehand. So you're gonna have to move out of the way. Move, 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 move. That's it, move over, quick. I got better. Yeah, don't watch your ball, just watch the ball coming. There you go. Got it. Yeah, so you're getting jammed on that one. Good. All right, again. So what I want you to do is do one back and one forehand. So you're gonna be moving. I mean, you're gonna do 10. Yeah. So, so when you hit a forehand, you're gonna shuffle this way. When you're gonna hit a back and you're gonna shuffle the other way. Let's do this again. Ready? Here we go. Go back in, now go forehand. There you go, now go over. That's it, there you go. That's it. And really work to create that space with that forehand. That's your chicken wing there. There you go. Nice, go. Good, better. See the difference? But you see the difference on that, yeah. night and day. A lot of the times when the ball comes towards our body, we don't move our body and we jam ourselves with that ball. That's when we pop the ball up and then the next one we get beat up. So Josh, try one here, let's see it. So really moving that body out of the way. Go, now shift, that's it. Good, good, beauty. See, you got a future in the sport. Oh, come on. There you go, he's got the speed. That's it, good hands. Good. Woo, there you go, good. So again, what's the key here, guys? What do you think the key is? Footwork and right, the paddle in front. Correct, keeping that paddle in front and how you avoid a lot of the times is making sure that we're not turning our hips because if we turn, we open up, contact point is behind. So again, another tip into those volleys. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time on the courts.